anyone who's ever been to a garden, you know what that feeling feels like. You know what it feels like to go to a garden and just feel elevated and feel lighter, energized, clearer, refreshed when you step out. You know, when you have kind of that experience. What I want, what I'm trying to facilitate is also that experience with the artwork you know, in an art gallery, in the context of an art gallery. It's kind of a bit, um, I would say, uh, almost sacred in a sense. So I want to set up a, a kind of a sacred experience. And that experience that you have when you're looking at the work and the realizations that you have while you're looking at it, that's my art. That's what I'm going for. Okay? These are really nice things. You know, they're really nice, beautiful things. But what my art is, is the experience that you have while you're looking at it, while you are sensing spirit. Okay? That's what it's about. So I wish all of you, you know, to have that. No way is right or wrong. But that's what happened for me as an artist you know, making the work. So what I'd like to do now is just a little tour of the, of the exhibit and just give you know, a few things. So I'll just move around. Um, let's see. And I'll just read a few, few quotes too. Is everybody cool? Okay. So, uh, let's see. This one, I think, I can read this quote right here. I just kind of tucked these in because I wanted to put in little, sort of little surprises in the show because the images are so big and I wanted to have something little tiny that you would discover. I just saw this wonderful exhibit of Georgia O'Keeffe, who was a tremendous kindred spirit. And um, at the Phillips Gallery in Washington, D.C., I was there about a month ago to judge a photo competition. And there was this show there, so I pushed my plane flight back a day so I could see the show. And I'm so glad I did, because it, it just blew my mind. But you had these little quotes kind of floating through the show, so I thought I'd do that in my show, too. Um, the one of hers is over there, we'll get to it. But listen to this. Okay. No matter how slow the film, Spirit always stands still long enough for the photographer it has chosen. And it chooses you. So slow down, turn down the speed, be receptive, listen, and let it choose you. Be still with yourself until the object of your attention affirms your presence. Okay? The object is alive. It's calling you. You're just listening and responding. That's your work, is to quiet down to a receptive state to where you can hear the calling, hear the spirit calling. That guy knew what he was talking about. That's minor life. Okay. Um, One thing I um, really uh, enjoy is pairing images and working in sequences of images, almost as if it, uh, the um, relationship or the community uh, is as important as the singular image. So everything is hung here with that sensibility. It's not just uh, put the images on the wall uh, without really thinking of where they belong in relationship to each other. And I see these as really, uh, you know, in a very intimate relationship with each other. And one thing that I really enjoyed at the opening, which I will now let you all do, is see the flower wrap around me. Isn't that... I, I love working at this scale where the image wraps around the human figure. It's bigger than you are. So, I was doing that all night, and now you get to do it. <laughs> so, um, let's see, the, the, uh, 
The other thing, the reason I went for the big scale is because I want to create, once again, I want to facilitate uh, an experience in the viewer to create a mood, to create an atmosphere in the room. And there's a sweet spot that you can stand in for these images. And see, it's kind of about where you are. It's about 10, maybe 10 or 12 feet out, where you really uh, kind of get into the zone of the of getting yourself lost in the image. Um, so here we are over at, uh, with George O'Keefe. And I believe she says, uh, OK, I know I can paint a flower. And for me, I interpret this as, I know I can photograph a flower. Uh, Maybe in terms of paint color, I can convey to you my experience of the flower, or the experience that makes the flower significant to me. Okay, so what's the subject of her artwork? It's not really the flower. It's her experience of the flower. She is trying to convey and articulate as fully as she can her experience, her interior what's going on as it is reflected in a flower. Okay, different kind of art. You know, that's modern art. And she was a real uh, um, vanguard, um, uh, you know, avant-garde person in terms of bringing uh, uh, modern art, in, you know, into the 20th century. And as many of you know, she was allied with Alfred Stieglitz and his gallery in New York, and he was championing, championing her as an artist. So I think I have a quote from Stieglitz next to the white flower, where he says, uh, The future is rather hazy, but the present, the present is very positive and very delightful. I love that quote, because this was uh, taken from a letter of correspondence between him and Georgia O'Keeffe, and they were romantically involved and all that. But to me it says, be in the present. You know, the present is what's happening. You can stay in the present when you're creating art, when you're doing photography, that's positive and delightful. That's where I want to be. That's the world I want to inhabit. Um, this is uh, the one I used to stare at before I fell asleep. And just let it float, just let it float, and let myself float with it. Float into dreamland. This one, I just got to throw this in. Quentin, I'll never forget the look on your face when you were standing in my studio looking at this canvas. And I know when a person gets it, just because I can see it on their face. You know, people just lighten up. They lighten up. And that's what I want. I want to uh, be an aid in transforming your consciousness to a lighter place. Just like the gardens in Japan. You know, uh, jump across here. Well, this one, I, I went through all kinds of uh, debates on this image, whether to include it in the show or not. And I'm so glad I did. Um, there's room, there's space to go as far as you want to go. To be sitting on that uh, veranda at Yolanji staring into the great sand garden and just going to limitless, limitless space. That's what this image is about. It's a moment in that open space. Um, and I'm very influenced by, uh, I spent a lot of time looking at uh, Chinese and Japanese scroll painting and the way the compositions are laid out. And for anyone who's looked at a lot of Asian art, there's a Wonderful free use of open space to move through, where you're not pinned down. And I love that. Okay, the intersection of rationality and complete lyricism. That's that's it. One little tiny point of focus. Not all of, not all of these, but most of these. I've kept 
I took a macro lens and I just opened it up all the way. 